Okay, so we are going to loop through the images array because we want to display a list of images where we can hover over it and display the main image. It seems something is not right and that's because uh, we interpolated the wrong uh, variable but before that I need you to know that the params snapshot returns and string so we need to convert it to a number otherwise it will not going to return anything so now if you come back to our template component here we want to correct the correct variable we had uh, an extra s in there now it returns all the image uh, sources that we're gonna need to display the images. So we're gonna pine the the source property to the image that we we are getting. So as you can see, we're gonna list the list of image that we we need. Now we're gonna display uh, the main or the bigger image on the center of of the page. For that, I'm gonna be defining two more diffs with the same size: one for the main image and one for the uh, details, such as the title and the description. So we don't want to hard code the, the image that we're going to display, rather we, we, we're going to be using a property that will be changing dynamically whenever we hover over the image. Initially, it's going to display the first image. Uh, the image that I'm using is of low uh, quality. You can use a larger image, but for this purpose, I'm just going to use the width of 120% to make it look bigger. That will do it. Now we need to hover over the image to implement that. But before that, I just think I put the same number of the same image of three and I need to change that to display the different images that we have downloaded for this product. Yeah. So now we're going to need the index. For that, we're going to get the index from the ng4. And we will use the event binding of uh, mouse enter or hover over the image. And the same property that we used here it's always it's going to have a new value whenever we hover based on the based on the index number of that specific image and that will lead to to change the main image as well now we're going to work on the third uh, section 
and that is to display the titles and the other information related to the product and finally we're gonna add the add to cart button oops it looks like the content is overlapped this is because we use the 120 width in here for that we're gonna use the bootstrap class of offset to move it a little bit to the right and get one from the grid and make it 4 instead of 5 this will do it I'll just add a pipe to look like uh, it has the dollar sign you can add your own currency in there So in the add to cart button we're gonna add an event, click event to add the items to the cart holder. The method will be called add to cart and is gonna we're gonna be passing the current product. We're gonna implement that method in our TS file. We also going to inject the cart service since that is where we are gonna define our add to cart uh, functionality. Now in the cart service, we're gonna define the method add item and we're gonna be expecting to receive an item or a product of type product and we're also going to have an array cart items so the first thing we're gonna do is to check if the item exists or it is in the array for that we're going to be using the find method if it exists this is going to return the object itself let me just rename the item to product so we're gonna see if because ID is the unique I is the unique property that we have so it is the best thing to compare the both uh, the existed items and the item we are about to pass so if the item do exist we just want to change the property of of quantity instead of adding a new one So 
so we increment by one if the item exists however if the item does not exist if the exist const returned and undefined we are going to push that new product that passed to us into our array and we are going to console log to see that let's not forget the plus plus to increment by one for every click back to our product ts file we're going to call the method we just defined and pass the product to it if you open our developer tool and see yes we do receive and if we click on add to cart several times only the quantity gets increased now we have two in our array and this will make it three no matter how many times you click only the quantity will get increased now we want whenever we click on the add to cart button that our basket or the card holder to display the number of items we have in there for that I'm gonna define a subject a behavior subject because we need to have a an initial value of zero And instead we are going to pass an empty array in there which always going to have the length of zero now after we push the items we need to emit the new value so we can subscribe to it in any other component So in our app TS, we have our constructor because we want to instantiate the card service in here. Also, we need to use our ng on init lifecycle hook to assign the data that is returned from the observable to a property that we are going to define Now as you can see this is from the app.ts line 15 now that we are getting the data we we are ready to assign it to a property named item in cart and we only gonna retaining the length because that's what we need in here now we need to display the property in our template component by using the interpolation 